Hey, it's Tim from The Bulwark. Uh, Donald Trump has been making some very embarrassing old man goofs lately. And for once, Tiny D Ron DeSantis might be finally putting on his big boy britches and calling him out. But first, let me just get you the background on, on what's been going on with Trump on the campaign trail. You know, he's been hiding out in Mar-a-Lago, hanging out poolside with the Cougars. He hasn't really put himself out there that much uh, during this campaign. It's been a little low energy, if you will. And while Trump's always been crazy, lately he's been saying some stuff on the campaign trail that is making us start to wonder what's happening up in the old noggin. Forgetful Jones material, if you will. Uh, and so, you know, I, this is stuff that is worth monitoring and covering for a big reason because the media relentlessly covers Joe Biden anytime he you know has a momentary lapse of judgment. You know, media outlets have been obsessing over Joe Biden's maybe age-related gaffes. And and here's my my view on this has always been the same actually. I I think it's fine if if Joe Biden's age and, and issues potentially related to Joe Biden's age are covered by the mainstream media, which they are. I think they're overcovered at times, but I think it's fine for them to be covered. Look, my favorite NFL team is the Broncos, right? RQB, I think he might have lost a step. It'd be pretty weird if the Broncos beat reporters just never mentioned the fact that the QB's getting a little older and that he's not as good as the competitors. It's kind of a central part of a campaign. But but you also have to mention if the other team's QB is also losing a step or two or three or never had a step or is an absolute insane person. And, and that has been the failure uh, when it comes to the equivalent problem of Trump. Here, here is something from Media Matters I wanted to read you. They looked at four recent Trump gaffes. Uh, he mixed up the authoritarian leaders of Hungary and Turkey. He confused uh, my old boss, Jeb Bush, uh, with his brother, the former president, George W. Bush. He's mixed up some of his Democratic opponents with former President Barack Obama several times. He made a garbled statement that accusing Joe Biden of leading the country into World War II. We would be in World War II very quickly if we're going to be relying on this man. That one already happened. I don't know if you read your history books. But here's the interesting part of the Media Matters analysis. They found that TV broadcast news gave no coverage to any of those false or incoherent statements from Trump. They're just so used to Trump's nonsense that they've totally normalized it and are no longer interested in covering it. If Trump says something, that is not treated the same way as if Nikki Haley or Joe Biden or another candidate had said the same exact thing. They would be treated with you know, pearl clutching and outrage and gasps uh, if, if Joe Biden said half the shit Donald Trump says. But but Trump is, is just Trump, and so he gets treated differently. He plays by different rules, and that is the problem. And, and here's the thing. Throughout this entire campaign, I, I think a big frustration has been that none of his actual Republican opponents have done anything about it. Joe Biden's campaign, they're speaking out about this clearly, and I think rightly trying to work the refs and pressure the media to at least give them equal treatment and, and at least mention it when Donald Trump I can't remember what world war happened this century. But his Republican opponents haven't been doing the same thing until now. Look who has come to stand in the breach. Ron DeSantis in his high heel boots finally is figuring things out. Finally is realizing that he can't become the Republican nominee by just suckling up to Donald Trump. He's going to have to take him on head first. His campaign started a Trump accident tracker. Let's watch some of these clips. Some of them are the same ones that Media Matters mentioned. We built almost 500 miles of wall. Even the Obama administration says it in their stats. Victor Orban. Did ever, anyone ever hear of him? He's the leader of, right? He's the leader of Turkey. I'll tell you what, you take a look at Obama and take a look at some of the things that he's done. They thought Bush, because Bush supposedly was a military person. Great. You know what? He was a military. He got us into the uh, he got us into the Middle East. How did that work out, right? Yikes. Yikes. Now, I, I think we might be a little bit too little too late when it comes to DeSantis. We were talking yesterday about the polls out of Iowa and how Nikki Haley is ascendant. It's hard to get your mojo back in a campaign once you lost it. It's particularly hard when you're running against somebody who has like a cult-like devoted following among the party loyalists. But this is the type of thing that, that we have been begging DeSantis and the other Republican opponents of Trump to be doing since last year. Uh, like Donald Trump is not the same Donald Trump as he was in 2016. DeSantis is right about that. I mean, he's always been crazy. This is not to be, I'm not out there saying that, oh, Donald Trump was good in 2016 or, or that he was okay. But, but, 
you know, everybody loses a step out on the campaign trail. Um, you know, the, it, it's, it might be age. It might just be the fact that, you know, Trump was hungry in 2016. And, you know, he had a very lean and mean campaign staff. And he was doing stuff very different from other candidates. And, and now he's gotten bogged down by by politics and by life. I, but maybe he's been bogged down by the fact that he's been indicted four times. And that he's also in civil trial over his private sector fraud. And the fact that his kids have to testify against him this week or for him or against him we'll see how how that testimony turns out that is the right thing for these republican candidates to be saying regardless of whether it's true about his mental acuity the right thing to be saying about donald trump is to republican voters hey you might have liked him in 2016 but this is a different time we need a different type of candidate in a number of ways he let us down you might like certain things that donald trump did but but we need somebody that can move into the future that was basically ron DeSantis's elevator pitch when he was neck and neck with Trump uh, last winter. Uh, it was essentially that he would give these voters the MAGA policies, the MAGA lib owning that they like, um, but he wouldn't have all of this other stuff you know, related to Donald Trump's weird tweeting and his weird comments and and the fact that it, it totally negates the age contrast with Joe Biden. Like That was a good message for Ron DeSantis that was working for him until instead he got on the campaign trail and decided, oh, he didn't want to alienate any Trump voters. He was going to try to run to Trump's MAGA right on cultural issues. That has been a disaster. This was the playbook from the start, the Trump accident tracker, embarrassing him, shaming him. Uh, Hopefully, and and I think there's some good signs that Joe Biden's campaign has learned from the mistakes and the failures of the Republican challengers to Trump. Uh, They're out there holding his feet to the fire on this. And I think that's going to be the key uh, if we get into a general election head to head with Biden and Trump next year. Hey, if you like this video and our content, I'd love for you to become a Bulwark Plus member. You get bonus podcasts, uh, you get bonus newsletters, you get bonus takes from me that maybe don't come up on the YouTube feed. Um, You can try it out for free at thebulwark.com slash free trial. The link is below in the description. Uh, We'd love to have you as a member of our community. Uh, We have great commenters and uh, great opportunities for people who want to protect democracy.